Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of Insights powered by Container Exchange. My name is Christian and every other day we bring to you the key news stories and data points that move container markets and hence your business. Today it's Monday, so uh, it's Macro Monday here at Container Exchange. We typically took a look at uh, one or more indicators and macroeconomic uh, yeah, data points that are expected to be released uh, in the week to come um, and which will likely have an impact on uh, the world of containers. Let me <clears throat> quickly share my screen uh, to give you a little bit more background on of what I'm talking about. Today, I'd just like to uh, look at the US because on Wednesday, there will be some data being released um, in the US, which will show whether a soft landing or actually on the other side, a hard recession is becoming um, more likely. At the moment, there's still uh, this, the, the verdict on this question is still out. Um, a couple of uh, couple of industry observers are still um, expecting a uh, soft landing, and of course, the Fed is working towards that, arguing that hey, the labor market is still strong. Um, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, the 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 interest rate increases have uh, worked to bring down uh, inflation, uh, but uh, the underlying uh, economics uh, in in the U.S. are still yeah, are st still performing well. Um, so no no risk of a hard a recession on the horizon. Um, famous last words, uh, you might uh, you might say this is typically what uh, industry observers and specifically the Fed always says when uh, just before a recession actually hits. Um, so let's take a quick look at the specifically at uh, two indicators. Number one is um, durable goods orders. Actually, um, there's an expected decrease of minus 3.2 percent versus previous month um, um, uh, 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 expected. Uh, while in the previous month we still saw almost a five percent a month on month growth on durable goods or goods orders. And of course, durable goods um, typically has a significant impact impact on container shipping demand. Um, so that's uh, yeah, so that also spells doom for, for example, the transatlantic and but also some of the trans-Pacific uh, trade. And then very, very importantly, because the Fed also continues to uh, to to look at that, um, the job market. And on the left hand side in that graph, you see the initial jobless claims, jobless claims. Um, which is also a data point that's going to be released on, on Wednesday, um, you will continue to see an uptick here. So um, there's a, since, since July, we came down uh, from, from a high of two, about, about, around about 260,000, the uh, y-axis is here in, in, in thousands, um, down to around about 200. But since then, we are picking up um, more and more again. And uh, yeah, ex expectations or consensus is um, somewhere in the, 230k uh, range, so round up, round about uh, there. And then on the other side, you have continuing jobless names. So this is almost like the unemployed, um, um, uh, not ratio, but the unemployed uh, persons. You'll see here that since about October last year, we've seen a significant increase uh, to about April. Then we saw um, also cyclically um, the, a good summer um, jobless uh, joblessness uh, rates or, or, or people. Um, have been, been reduced, came down, but that is picking up now um, again in October, actually quite a quite a steep curve. And we also expect this to, to increase uh, going forward because the macroeconomic environment is not great. If you look at interest rates, if you look at the global uh, economy, if you look at Europe, everywhere, uh, we are fighting um, sort of uh, the, the, ugly, uh, the ugly demon that's called uh, recession, and that's no difference in the US. So Actually, um, I or we are a little bit more pessimistic here with regards to the outlook of the U.S. economy. Um, we expect that actually there is a recession on the cards or actually becoming uh, more and more likely, um, which of course spells doom also for container shipping uh, because the significant capacity increases, especially on the vessel side, but also on the container fleet size that we've seen over the past couple of years and specifically now coming on stream in the last months of 2023 and in, in, in 2024 that will continue. Um, that just creates such a capacity overhang, which you really have to grow out uh, because you can't scrap your way out of it. Um, and if growth is lagging because uh, the macroeconomic uh, environment is uh, deteriorating, then of course, that is very bad news for container shipping um, in total. Cool. That's it from me for, from, for us uh, for today. Thanks a lot for uh, tuning in. Um, have a fantastic uh, rest of the week and uh, speak to you all um, on Wednesday or Friday. See ya.